Tonight we begin with an update on housing for tornado victims. Last week, United Way of Southern Kentucky invested $750,000 into the Housing Authority of Bowling Green for the group to use to build affordable housing for tornado victims. WBKO Sarah Phipps visited the Housing Authority office to learn more on the investment and when the houses will be built. It's our top story at 10. Affordable housing to me is being able to ha live in nice, housing and still be able to maintain a good cost of living. I mean, a lot of times we have individuals who are paying 50% of their income to rent. That's not affordable housing to me. I mean, that's outrageous, actually. A sentiment echoed by United Way of Southern Kentucky, who says the aftermath of the December 2021 tornadoes only highlighted Bowling Green's need for affordable housing. When the tornado hit, it took a lot of the low income housing that was available in the neighborhood. And we saw right after the tornado hit, rents went up 30 to 50%. It was, it was almost crazy how much rents went up. And people are still making the same amount of money. They couldn't afford the new, the new rent amounts. This led United Way to invest a quarter of a million dollars into the housing authority to be used to create six affordable single family homes for tornado victims. So some of them we are gonna purchase homes that are already existing and rehab those and resell those. So those will be spread out through Bowling Green or Warren County. Um, and then we're hoping to construct three homes in the subdivision that we are building um, next door adjacent to our main office. Katie Miller, Deputy Director with the Housing Authority, says along with getting victims in the homes, the authority will also be working to help keep them there. We have a homeownership counselor that will work with them, help with their credit, whatever it is, help them walk through the steps of homeownership. It, a lot of them are just scared. Like they make enough money, they pay their rent on time every month. They're more than they were more than capable of doing it. They're just scared to take that step. So we're, we're glad to be able to provide that as a means to help them with that. Miller says the homes will be about 1300 square feet with three bedrooms, two baths, a one car garage and come in at around $200,000. Reporting in Bowling Green, Sarah Phipps, WBKO News. The Housing Authority says they hope to have the homes done by this time next year.